What's going on, you guys? So today we have five gadgets, items, tech-type items from Wish. Uh, we're going to unbox them, and we're going to see if they work. We're going to see if they're legit. We're going to see if they're garbage or what's up, you know? So as you guys may know, uh, all of the fans of the channel here, all three or four of you guys, maybe two, Chelsea and I, you know, we don't want for anything in this world. We live a pretty opulent lifestyle, right? So if there's a new gadget that comes out or if there's a string of gadgets that I want to get, maybe five of them like you see here, it's not a problem. The cost to me uh, is irrelevant. I ask what the cost is after the fact. So you guys might ask me, you guys might say, hey, five new gadgets, you're just going to film a video on five new gadgets. How did you afford this? Yeah, I, I didn't think twice about it, you know. I really didn't think twice about it. I just put the card in, and I know it's going to go through, you know. So this total for me was $29. It was, actually, it was 29.48 euro, right? So so whatever that is in, in USD, probably $33 or so. You see, that's how much I care. I can't even do the conversion for you, you know. So I'm not even counting, all right? So this is five items uh, from Wish. And, and let's unbox them or, or unwrap them and, and, and let's see what we got. So this first one, let's just do the simplest one and get it out of the way. This was a stylus. And really, I have a stylus on my uh, S24 Ultra. And I, and I just wanted to be able to use a stylus with some of my other uh, devices, you know. So, so you know, because I'll take this Nubia, uh, you know, out with me or whatever my other phone is. And I go, man, I wish I had my stylus like the... Um, like my S24 Ultra. So let me let me rip this open here. Okay, this is simple. And this was a dollar fifty. So this was actually pretty pretty expensive in my opinion. A dollar fifty for the stylus. Unbox it right there. Okay, comes in a little envelope like this from Wish. Now I ordered five items and I got five items. Okay, and I ordered them a couple weeks ago and they came in fairly quick. All right. So here it is. You got a little soft tip right here that's a dollar fifty, and a hard, hard uh, plastic here, and this feels straight up out the Dollar General. So let's try this. Let's see if any of this works. Okay, so the plastic side does not work. All right. Now the soft side, it does work. All right. Cool. So I'm sitting in a meeting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Let me let me take some notes here. Open up. That actually works pretty good. You guys see that? All right, so this is the soft side. Don't know what the top sights are. So a buck fifty from Wish, simple, plain, stylus. If you guys need it, it works. Easy enough. Easy money, okay? Dollar fifty, probably, and the price is on Wish Switch all the time. So this was a dollar fifty when I got it. It could be fifty cents by the time you guys get to it, okay? All right. So, the next item. Let's see what we got next. All right. Okay, I remember this. These are my gloves that uh, have. Li uh, light lights on them. The gloves have lights in them so that when you're climbing down in a cave to go rescue somebody, when you guys are doing your rescue missions, you guys don't have to be without light anymore. Um, I don't know why I would go to that first versus like a car repair. All right, so this looks like a little thong. All right. So these were $5. These are flashlight gloves and these were $5.63. Okay. So for $5.63, you guys can be a hero. So let me throw these on. All right. Like that. And then you wrap, pull this. Get this going here. I got to give you guys the full experience, right? There we go. You wrap around like this, and then you got a little Velcro right there. Okay, all right. Throw them on. And again, these are $5.63, okay? I don't know how many uses you guys might find for this. Maybe way more than I will. 
but there you are on off oh yeah oh yeah all right we're in business baby look at that it's like a raven here okay so it's dark at night you guys are walking down the street you see somebody steal a purse hey you stop immediately chase him down okay all right so these were five dollars and 63 cents there's honestly not a lot to them the light is barely bright at all to be honest with you guys um but i imagine if you guys need to get into like if you're working on a car or something why not i'm sure you guys can find a use for these if you guys are even looking for something like this then i'm sure you'll be able to find a use for something like this so that's the gloves right there now i didn't know what they were gonna let's see here i'll throw them up okay they look pretty they look pretty pretty similar to what was on the to what was on the on the on the thing oh i actually got them on wrong i got them on wrong so this is let's see okay i got these on wrong so i'm supposed to have these on you guys see right there i'm supposed to have these on my thumb so i'm not even getting the full the full effect of these here so goes like this here i honestly thought it was more comfortable the other way but you know what i guess this would make sense if you guys got to grab something you guys see a little bit light you see that little shining okay so you know they're meant to be worn like this here based on the picture but you know we're not afraid to modify a little bit so yeah if you guys are working on some little stuff you know little little things where you need some light not horrible honestly not horrible for 563 i i yeah it, it it looks like this is worth about half that so they probably made a decent profit on it okay next next thing is up so we got three items left let's go this right here okay so this is a smart bracelet a smart watch it's your health steward all right now this smart watch was four dollars so this smart watch was two dollars less than these gloves with the light just for comparison all right so let's go ahead and unbox this here uh, let's see my device my life my device my life you see that it even has a space between my device and no space between my life you know functions it's got heart rate blood pressure step counter incoming call wechat qq twitter facebook alarm clock photo control sedentary reminder and mileage all right so <clears throat> basically everything you're going to ever need so let's un open the box here. Okay. This comes out. And here's the book. Now this is does not this does not have a brand. This is a smart wristband user's manual. Okay. So here's the face. Here's the watch and you get the two bands and these feel about as cheap as they can be. So $4, $4 for this. All right. Let's rip this off. All right, let's get the back going here. Okay, the back's kind of coming off in pieces. Okay. So, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so the bands go in here like this. Now this is $4, you guys. Reminding you again. $4 smartwatch. Now I'm not sure. Okay, so the band guys see how it's so easy okay. 
Okay, so it goes on like this. There we go. I'm not sure how to how to turn it on. So this says smart Bluetooth watch, accurate pedometer, deeply life waterproof. Okay. But I don't know how to turn it on. It says, okay, wear it properly. The wristband is best worn after the ulnar styloid. That's what it says right here, you guys. The wristband is best worn after the ulnar styloid. Adjust the size of the wrist according to the adjustment hole, buckle, belt buckle. The sensor should be close to the skin to avoid moving. Charge the bracelet. For the first time, make sure the battery is in normal power. If the power is not turned on normally, please connect the charger to charge the device and the bracelet will automatically turn on. So my problem is here, is I don't, there's no charger that they sent. They didn't give me a charger and I don't know where I would connect the charger that they gave me. I don't see a USB port. I don't see anything, but I do see this uh, QR code here for the app. So let's go ahead and scan that and see if that gives us anything. So it's the Fit Pro app download. Let's go to Google Play, install. I mean, there's an app for it, so I, but I'm just not sure what I'm doing wrong here because there's no charger and I don't know how to charge it. They're telling me to charge it, but I don't know exactly how they want me to do that. So app is downloading. For the first time, you need to connect to the app for calibration. After the connection is successful, the bracelet will automatically synchronize the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this app. Agree. This is a $4 smartwatch, you guys. So there's that. But I'm just, I guess I'm not sure how to charge it. Device disconnected. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. There's no charger, and I'm not sure how to charge it. So I guess the question is, is this a scam product because there's no way to turn it on. I mean, you guys bought a $4 smartwatch from Wish, so I'm not exactly sure what you were expecting. Um, so it looks to me, so the box is empty. This is the plastic. There's no charger. I don't know how to turn this on. So if I can figure out a way to charge this, and if I can figure out a way to get this turned on, uh, I'll let you guys know. But for right now, I'm going to throw it on and see if it's... Uh, if it charges with my skin contact, uh, I don't know what kind of technology that would be, but you know, I'm not sure what else to try because it says charge the charge the watch, uh, but but it's not giving me a charger or anything to charge it with. It also says the wristband is best worn after the ulnar styloid, and I'm not sure what the ulnar styloid is, so I'm gonna have to Google that. Um, actually, if you guys while you guys are here, maybe we can Google it together. Ulnar styloid okay so the ulnar styloid is a bony projection at the end of the ulna bone near the hand that fits into the wrist joint cartilage. large okay so that actually kind of adds up i guess so the watch is not working so this is the smart watch the smart bracelet your health steward um that this is four dollars from wish and it is not working uh, officially so there's that product i'm going to keep wearing it uh and, and report back so that's one out of the five that doesn't work. The stylus works and the gloves definitely work. Next up, we have these glasses. These came in in a pouch like this. And now these are, these were, let me check and make sure I remember correctly here. These were $6.50. And these are Bluetooth smart glasses, or they're not smart, but these are Bluetooth glasses with headphones in them already. So I'll throw up a couple of pics of how I look, you guys, but um, this is this is it right here. So I don't know who, which ones of you are spending, you know, 
$300 on earbuds and $300 on glasses. This was six bucks. So for me, I'm gonna be the coolest kid in town because I'm gonna be able to listen to my music here uh, as well as uh, uh, get some sun protection. So here's this. this, the headphones come in and out like this. Okay, now what do we have here? Glasses, this is, the brand is glasses. Okay, this is the brand. So, and this, you know, we'll check this out and see if it works. Here's, you got the back, play, and forward buttons on the sides. Right now, the way, the way I look at them, I don't know if you guys can see me here. Like I said, I'll throw a picture up, but let me flip this. So right here, you guys can see, okay? And if you guys, with these glasses, if you guys don't, don't, if you guys don't have any luck with women, if you guys have trouble picking up chicks, uh, I would put these on and go hang out at the Walmart and I guarantee you, you guys are gonna be uh, swimming in it here in a second. So, all right, let's see here. So music key instruction, play back and forth. Okay, switch on or off. Hold the play key for four seconds to switch on. The green light will flash. Okay, so you guys see it flashing red and blue, so I should be able to connect to it now. And right there on available devices, glasses, pairing, pair with glasses, pair, connected for calls and audio, 100% battery remaining. So let's see if I can hear anything in these. All right, so I got my glasses connected, $6.50 glasses. Now the headphones, they fit into your ear, uh, barely at all, barely at all. So almost not at all. So let's go. Okay, you guys know what? I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can hear this as I'm playing it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but, oh. When the, when the, uh, okay, when the bass hits, it sounds absolutely horrible. It sounds awful in your ears. It sounds uh, like, you guys remember the dudes that would drive around when we were younger, the dudes that would drive around and they'd have their trunk taped up or, or, or cord, with a cord, a rope around their trunk to hold it open. They'd have no windows, they'd have their bumpers falling off, but they'd be banging this loud sound system and it'd be rattling in the trunk. That's kind of what it sounds and feels like, but, for six bucks, I actually cannot believe it's this loud in my ears. I can actually hear everything. I mean, I can listen to the song. So I can actually hear this. It did connect. It actually connected pretty <laughs> easily, you guys. Uh, I, these probably, again, I'll throw a picture up. I'm sure these don't look the best, um, but there you go. These glasses work for so far. Uh, you, you, so it combines two into one. So if you guys are buying Bose headphones and a pair of Ray-Ban glasses or Oakley glasses to go run, you guys are wasting your money. You guys can spend 650 off Wish and get these bad boys and they actually work. So, hey, you know what? I might, <laughs> I might tell Chelsea we need to go test these out on a real walk or a real run. So here you go. 650, they work. All right. So the last item I have here, let's go ahead and break in. The last item I have, it came in a pouch here, this is Game Boy, all right? And this thing was, bear with me here, this thing was $10, a $10 Game Boy, all right? And this is... 401 pocket handheld game console. Let's break it out. Retro FC, user's manual. This is the smallest user's manual I've ever seen, okay? Thank you, installation. This is to the TV out, adapter power in. We're not gonna hook it up to the TV right now, so this feels super light. This is Dollar General quality. It feels extremely light. There's a battery up in there. Turn it on. So volume rocker down here, Chinese and English, select and start. So let's go English. Okay, 
401. I don't think I'm going to go through all of these, but Super Mario, Mario 14, Mario 3, Dr. Mario, Mario Bros, Turtles, Turtles 4, Contra. Look at all these games it's got. Chip Dale. What's Chip and Dale? Wow. 400 games. Motorboat, Panzer Attack. Let's play some Mario here. Super Mario, start. Okay, and as you guys can see here, Super Mario Bros, one player game. World 1-1. One, one. Oh wait, let me, there's a screen protector on this one you guys. So $10 for this game, 10 bucks. Oh, there is or there isn't? Oh, there definitely is, let's get the full Ten bucks. Okay, so... This is actually... Fairly responsive. I can pause it. I don't know how to go back. Okay, there we go. So, this game actually was fairly responsive, believe it or not. What's Dordor? -Dor? All right. Okay, I'm not sure what this game is. Let's go. English, Turtles, Mortal Kombat 4. So if you guys can't afford the new Mortal Kombat, uh, you guys can get, or the newest games, you guys can grab this for 10 bucks as Game Boy and have 400 games. Mortal Kombat. This looks absolutely terrible. I can barely tell who all the characters are, but I do want to do the Bicycle King here with Liu Kang, I think. This. All right. Right there. Okay, you guys. So as you guys can see, this thing actually works for 10 bucks. Uh, honestly, if you guys give this to a little kid or something as a gift, it might actually work and it's super cheap. So. I'm probably not going to be playing this daily, but you guys can certainly get it and check it out. This works. Overall, would I say that Wish and the items on it are a scam? I probably wouldn't say that uh, because we got what we ordered. With the exception of this, um, of this smart bracelet here that I can't, still can't get to turn on and I don't know how to charge and there's no charger that they gave me and there's no way to hook it up to charge. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with this thing, but I'll check it out. But the rest of these products, I'm actually surprised those glasses had any sound in them at all, but they did. So the rest of these products, you guys, hey, you know what? If you guys want to be uh, 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 pimping on a budget, Maybe get yourself a Game Boy from Wish. Maybe get yourself a pair of these glasses from Wish and go out in style, all right? Hey, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll be back with more videos. Thanks.